A hernia is a medical condition that occurs when an organ or tissue pushes through a weakened area of muscle or connective tissue. While hernias can develop in various parts of the body, they commonly occur in the abdominal and groin regions. Hernias can cause discomfort, pain, and potentially lead to serious complications if left untreated. Understanding the common causes of hernias can help individuals take preventive measures and seek timely medical attention if necessary. Weakness in the abdominal wall. The most prevalent cause of hernias is a weakness in the abdominal wall. This can be due to various factors such as genetics, aging, and lifestyle choices. Over time, the muscles and connective tissues in the abdominal wall can become weaker, making it easier for organs or tissues to protrude through. Activities that involve heavy lifting, persistent coughing, or straining during bowel movements can exacerbate this weakness and increase the risk of hernia development. Congenital weakness. Some individuals are born with a congenital weakness in certain areas of their abdominal wall or groin. These weaknesses, known as congenital or inherited hernias, can lead to hernia development from a young age or even during infancy. Inguinal hernias, which occur in the groin, are a prime example of hernias that can have congenital origins. This type of hernia is more common in males and can often be attributed to an opening that didn't fully close during fetal development. Chronic straining. Chronic straining due to factors such as chronic constipation, frequent heavy lifting, or persistent coughing can increase the risk of hernias. The increased pressure within the abdominal cavity can push organs or tissues through weakened areas of the muscle or connective tissue. This is particularly common in activities that involve repetitive lifting of heavy objects without proper technique or adequate rest periods. Obesity. Obesity is a significant risk factor for hernia development. Excess body weight places additional stress on the abdominal muscles and connective tissues, increasing the likelihood of weakening and subsequent hernia formation. Additionally, the accumulation of intra-abdominal fat can lead to increased intra-abdominal pressure, making it easier for organs to protrude through weakened areas. Pregnancy. Pregnancy can lead to a temporary weakening of the abdominal muscles and connective tissues, particularly in the later stages when the growing uterus exerts pressure on the abdominal wall. This can contribute to the development of hernias, especially in the groin area, inguinal hernias, and around the navel, umbilical hernias. While many pregnancy-related hernias may resolve on their own after childbirth, some may require medical intervention. Prevention and treatment. While hernias are not always preventable, there are steps individuals can take to reduce their risk. Maintaining a healthy weight, practicing proper lifting techniques, managing chronic conditions that involve straining, like constipation, and staying physically active can help strengthen the abdominal muscles and minimize the risk of hernia development. If a hernia does occur, medical attention should be sought promptly. Treatment options vary depending on the size, location, and severity of the hernia. In some cases, lifestyle changes and supportive measures may be sufficient. However, larger or more symptomatic hernias may require surgical intervention to repair the weakened area and restore the proper positioning of the displaced tissue or organ. In conclusion, hernias are common medical conditions that can lead to discomfort and potential complications. Understanding the common causes, such as abdominal wall weakness, congenital factors, chronic straining, obesity, and pregnancy, can empower individuals to take proactive steps to reduce their risk. By adopting a healthy lifestyle, practicing proper body mechanics, and seeking timely medical attention, individuals can effectively manage their risk of hernia development and maintain overall well-being.